facial recognition is coming to the Orlando theme parks, and not just to Epic Universe. This new frictionless entry technology is expected to make its way to all of the Universal Orlando theme parks, and soon. But what do we know about this photo validation system, and how will it be used at Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, and eventually Epic Universe? Let's go over official details, publicly filed patents, permits, and some new rumors to see what we can learn in today's news update. Mark Woodbury, the Universal Destinations and Experiences CEO, revealed that they are planning to utilize facial recognition at the upcoming Epic Universe theme park as well as their other Orlando parks. Speaking at a conference earlier this month, he said that Epic Universe is going to be the most technologically advanced park yet from the company and that it will use facial recognition, photo validation technology that will allow it to have a frictionless experience. While Woodbury was mostly describing what the company is planning for the new park, it has been rumored that we could start to see some of these new technologies testing at the existing parks and soon. Universal Orlando had been testing an early iteration of facial recognition for its on-site hotel's free express pass system for years, and other various use cases since 2017. Walt Disney World tested its own variation of the technology for turnstiles in 2021. How soon could we see facial recognition be utilized at the existing parks for turnstile entry? Well, it would appear that the first facial recognition turnstile has already been installed and has actually been sitting at the exit to Islands of Adventure for months. In fact, this turnstile has already been in use, but only as a regular fingerprint entry turnstile without what could be this screen portion, which has remained undercover. A few years ago, when the system was being developed for Epic Universe's unique needs, the company patented a piece of technology that may be related to their version of facial recognition. Named Efficient Management of Facial Recognition Systems and Methods in Multiple Areas, the patent from 2020 explains how a theme park could capture a guest's photo at the entrance and then utilize facial recognition scanners to allow or disallow them entry to specific sections of the park. The patent describes how upon arriving to the theme park, the guest would have their face scanned and then connected to their park ticket or other credentials. This would then connect their facial image to their account, so the system will know what type of access they have throughout their visit. According to this patent, the facial image information would be removed from the database upon the guest exiting the park. The patent describes how this would reduce processing power by only having to match facial images to guests who are actively inside of the theme park. Something Woodbury said earlier this month is worth keeping in mind. He called this type of facial recognition, photo validation. And I do believe that this is the term that Universal will use, which may help to remove some of the stigma against the technology. Thinking of it this way, the cameras are not recognizing you, they're just validating your photo to pull up your ticket. In many ways, this can be seen as an evolution of the fingerprint biometric scans that are currently employed by the Orlando parks. While it is currently possible to opt out of fingerprint scans at the parks by showing your ID instead, it will likely not be possible to not have your face scanned by sensors at the park entry, as it will have to scan all guests entering to function. That said, the original patent does include the following text. Guests may opt out of using facial recognition technology of the theme park and instead opt into using alternative access grant methods such as a wearable device. Keep in mind that patents tend to include more information than needed, and this does not mean that an opt-out function will in fact be utilized, or will be utilized in this manner. Universal has also patented several other technologies that are likely intended to work in tandem with the photo validation system. A couple of these focus on integrating all of the guest's park credentials and cross-referencing them with other profile data. When coupled with the photo validation system, this could mean walking directly into an express line without the need to scan your express pass, for example. At Epic Universe, they may be planning to take the tech to another level by allowing anyone into the central hub of the new theme park, but restricting the lands and rides to 
to paying guests only. A long-standing rumor for the design of Epic Universe relies on the photo validation technology working out. Open Hub, as it is often called by theme park fans, is a long-standing rumor that would have anyone allowed into the central part of Epic Universe, but require a theme park ticket to enter one of the themed lands. Since all of the four themed lands of Epic Universe only have one entrance each, called portals, it would be easy to require validation of theme park tickets at those checkpoints. However, to prevent lines forming at the entrance to Super Nintendo World, for example, they would simply have facial recognition scanners installed at the warp pipe themed entry instead of traditional turnstiles. These scanners will match your face to the photo on file for the day and then allow you entry, frictionlessly, as Woodbury put it. If for some reason you do not have a paid theme park ticket, a team member could step in and disallow you from entering the area. Now, this open hub rumor has evolved over time and may not be employed exactly like it was originally envisioned when Epic Universe opens mid-2025. The current rumor is that we may see the hub open to anyone only after a certain time, like 6 p.m., for visitors to dine and shop without having to pay for a theme park ticket. To further add evidence that some type of open hub concept is still on the table, what appear to be attachments for overhead sensors can be seen in recent permit filings for the new park. These elements are located within portal entries, like this one seen here for How to Train Your Dragon, as well as some express line entries, which may mean they're related to a photo validation system. Other ways the photo validation system could be utilized include virtual line return validation, hotel guest access at the back of the park, event ticket authentication like Halloween Horror Nights, and as mentioned before, express pass validation. A key element of the system, in addition to making it seem frictionless when moving through a park, land, or even express line, is that it would reduce the number of staff required for each of these positions. Rather than manually validating each guest, a team member may only be needed when the system does not recognize a guest, or if they do not have the necessary requirements on file to enter a specific area. Of course, Photo validation is only one part of a much larger project for Epic Universe. Another aspect involves combining the security checkpoint and turnstile entry into one seamless experience. Since Epic Universe will not have the luxury of being attached to the parking garages and security rotunda of the existing Universal Orlando Resort, it will require its own security checkpoint outside of the park. A patent for Unified Access Control System from Universal shows a combination security check, complete with X-ray bag check and metal detectors, that includes its own scanners for authenticating a guest. The layout for the entrance area for Epic Universe includes what permits describe as a combination security and turnstile entry area. And this patent is likely showing what we may expect to see before entering the new park. That way, when we get up to the main portal arch into Epic Universe, we can just walk in with no need to show our ticket. That's all for now, but be sure to subscribe to never miss an update on Epic Universe and other theme park projects for Universal Orlando. If you like what we do, consider joining our Patreon for even more information, your name in the credits, and more. Patreon.com slash theme park stop. Thanks for watching. See you next time.